Hello and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a really weird week in the US and I kind of wanted to film something a little bit lighter, not so serious. Today I'm going to be filming myself doing my makeup but without any mirrors. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm terrified and intrigued all at the same time so I don't really know how this is going to turn out but I guess let's just jump right into it. So I have closed my computer. It's just you and me, no monitor. I'm so scared right now. All right, so I'm starting by applying my primer. Oh my gosh, where do I look? I'm applying my primer just to the center of my face. I am using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Gel just to um, not put it on my eyelid. I am taking my brow powder and, oh my god, where are they? This feels right. Not so bad so far. This still feels like my eyebrow. Right? Yeah, kinda. I'm now taking some eye primer and applying it to my lids. Should we just go full glam today? Should I just make it like smoky with winged eyeliner and like, oh my god, what am I doing to myself? I'm gonna start by using my face powder and running that all over my lids. <laughs> This is too much mystery. I don't like it at all. That feels kind of set, I guess. Oh gosh, I'm just gonna keep blending, I'm scared. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker shade just in the outer corner. Right there. Is that it? Feels like it's it. That doesn't feel too wrong. That doesn't feel wrong at all! Oh my gosh, success. We've reached success. Now I'm going to take a darker red shadow and put that in the very outer corner. I'm going to take a flat brush and pick up a gold shade and pop that right on the center of the lid. Now I'm going to move on to the face because eyeliner and lashes does not sound like a fun time. So I'm going to postpone that until the very last minute. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my base using powder foundation and concealer. So I'm going to do that for you today. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape. And then I do a little bit down the nose, top of the lip, and on the chin as well. I take the butt of my beauty blender and I'm just kind of blending more than I've ever blended before, pretty much. I don't really know what to look right now. Do I just look at you? I feel like it's a little weird if I just stare deep into the camera lens, aka your soul. So with my under eye, I blend out the edges first, and then I go back in and bring it closer to the lash line. I'm going to do one final blend, and then set the under eyes with Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder foundation. And I'm gonna brush off the concealer bake with that same powder. I'm just gonna take my Chocolate Soleil bronzer in dark chocolate bronze, the cheekbones. I'm committing. It's like chocolate. So I focus this in. Why am I still tasting chocolate? How much should I put on my brush? Oh my god. I like never taste the bronzer when I'm doing my makeup day to day. Something's wrong. Something has gone horribly wrong. Now I go into my shade and light palette. I'm not looking at the mirror. I refuse. And I'm taking the darkest shade. I'm gonna apply this just to the part of my cheekbone closest to my hairline. I usually take what's left in the brush and I go around my hairline and roll your lip. Now I'm going to move on to brush. I'm taking the same brush because I'm nasty and dipping into Luster by NARS, which is my favorite blush of all time. I am tilting the mirror away from me so I don't see it and I'm going to load up the brush. This blush doesn't really show up as anything super, super bright on me, which is nice because I feel like that is my safest bet as far as blush goes. I'm taking the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator and I almost opened that with a mirror facing me. Let's switch that around. There we go. I feel like if I just have a really offensively 
beaming glow. It'll take away from all the mistakes that I have made on my face. I also go above the brow, down the bridge of the nose. And I'm going to take that same red that we put in the crease and I'm going to apply that on the lower <laughs> lash line. This is fucking terrifying. I'm going to take some of that gold you put on the lid and put it on the inner corner. Now I'm going to move on to liner. Stability finger in place. Lowering the applicator onto the lid. Okay, we've reached contact. Oh my god, I just hit the middle of my eyelid. I totally just did. Oh my god, it's ruined. And I'm gonna create a wing. Oh yeah, that's like all wrong. That's so, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna try to fill it in. Oh God. I don't know. There is such defeat within me right now. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes. Are they even in there? I can't tell. Oh shit, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Now I'm going to be applying the lashes that I have been loving at the moment for dramatic eye looks, which is Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. I'm gonna go in with the liner that I have been loving lately. It is the Coco Loco liner by Jordana. This thing is like a dollar. I also blend the liner with my finger a little bit just so it's not like super harsh. Now I'm gonna go in with Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in whatever. Okay, this feels normal. Those seemed like the easiest part of this entire thing. I'm not going to put setting spray on this look because I have a feeling I'm going to be washing it off immediately after I finish recording. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm going to reveal it to myself now. Oh my god! <gasps> that liner is next level. This is a very graphic liner situation right here. It's very like avant-garde modern art. This eye needs its own moment. We have this stunning specimen of a winged liner or lack thereof. I feel like we got something going there with the initial shape, but then filling in that shape. That's when it got a little rough. This lash is embarrassed to be on my face and it was like, nope, I'm gonna, gonna leave now. That lash application is just A1. We're a little choppy over here, but besides that team, I mean, we're, we're not too bad. I think really highlighter just came to save the day because I mean this bling, hello. This lash is actually on like a dream. This is how I normally apply my lashes on this side. It's like I didn't even touch my brows. I mean, for some reason, this one looks better than this one. I don't know what went on. And the lips are not ideal. There's a, they're a little uneven here, and but not the worst. And that brings us to the end of this unfortunate video. Hopefully this made you laugh or smile, and I just want to remind you guys, even though shit gets bad, to spread love and light to everyone around you. Sending all of my love and warm wishes to you guys. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.